Compliance is an indie film that is making people very, very uncomfortable because it kind of gives us insight into whether or not we would comply in certain situations. So this movie actually has to do with uh, something the decade leading up to 2004 where this random guy would call into fast food restaurants pretending as if he was a uh, part of law enforcement, a police officer, and he would claim that one of the employees at that restaurant, usually a female, was uh, accused of stealing money from a customer. So he would tell the manager of that restaurant to take the girl to the back uh, and undress her uh, to find if there's any money on her or anything. And the manager would comply, which is incredible. As soon as there's a, a little sense of authority there, they would comply. And in some cases, they would even perform sexual acts on the girls. It's unbelievable what people are willing to do. So it's based on a true story. Yeah. And apparently the movie is so disturbing that uh, in the first screening, uh, eight to ten women walked out. One of them screamed out. Yeah, and one of them said, you got to be fucking kidding me, and she walked out. So just to give you guys a sense of you know, how disturbing it could be. Uh, let's watch the trailer for the film and then we'll discuss. This is Officer Daniels with the police department. I have a woman here saying one of your employees took money out of her purse. You have a young lady who works at the register, about 19 years old, blonde. You don't realize what kind of trouble you're in. We need to find the money, but I'll need your help till I can get down there. We really have two choices here. He's saying he will have to take you to jail. Or what we could do is have you strip search her right now. I could strip search you here. What? No. No. Is this okay to be doing? Oh, yeah, of course. You're making a really difficult situation run very smoothly. I'm just trying to do my job. I didn't do anything. I'm going to need you to address me as sir. Understand? Yeah. Listen to me. Sir! So um, it kind of, you know, makes people remember, you know, the Stanley Milgram uh, studies. And then there was another really interesting study but done by a psychologist by the name of Solomon Ash. And this is incredible because what he would do is he would show a group of people uh, a picture. And he, the picture had three lines on it. And everyone in that room was cahoo in cahoots except for one person, right? So he would basically ask, and here, let me read you what the study was about. He would basically ask uh, all of the respondents, which one of these lines is the longest, right? Mm -hmm. And everyone that was in cahoots would actually pick the shorter line. And the one person that was part of the study would be like, oh my God, everyone's saying that line. So, okay, I'm just going to conform and say what they're saying, right? And they yeah. would comply. So nearly 75% of the participants in the conformity experiments went along with the rest of the group at least one time. After combining the trials, the results indicated that participants conformed to the incorrect group answer approximately one third of the time. So, you know, I remember reading about this experiment when I was a senior in high school and I took a psychology class and it actually was the first time that I loved education. Now, I, you know, I was a good student and I, you know, and I enjoyed some of the classes like history, etc. But I loved psychology. I thought it was the most fascinating thing I'd mm -hmm. ever heard. One time I was sick and went to school anyway. You have no idea what that meant for me because I was such a lazy ass in school. And I was like, no, no, I gotta go, I gotta find out. So, and, and I remember looking at that experiment and thinking, I wonder how I would do. Would I go along with the crowd? Like you think, no, I wouldn't, right? But you don't know unless you're in it. But you know, I, I have to confess that I feel a tiny bit proud that throughout my career, I think I might have shown that I didn't go with the crowd, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? As you know, the rest of the press says, ah, oh, Assange, I can't believe he would reveal government secrets. I'm like, there's some chance that that's the longer line, right? I know. It, look, it all depends. If I'm in a group of people that I feel are at the same intelligence level as me, then, and, and there isn't an authority figure there, then I'm more likely to say like, no, you guys are all wrong. Uh, actually, that line is longer, right? Mm -hmm. But let's say I'm in a room with everyone and Jenk is one of the people who says, uh, no, that line is actually longer. I'm gonna second guess myself, right? Because mm -hmm. you are an authority figure. So I'm gonna be like, Damn straight. no, and, and that's, it sucks that, it, it works that way, but it's the truth. You kind of second guess. Like yesterday, we had a little bit of a debate, and I knew what I knew about that topic, right? And I know that I've read about it in the past, but Jenk was like, no, 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 you're wrong. A, B, and C is correct. 
And then I did the research, and I second-guessed myself. I was like, maybe Jake is right, man. He knows what he's talking about. I'm going to conform. <laughs> That's right, and it turns out I was right. <laughs> Wrong again, Bob. <laughs> okay, here, let's try it again. Uh, all right, uh, everybody, uh, let's guess. Go, go to that shot of, uh, of Mark and Jair. Let's guess what race Mark is. Uh, I say Asian. Does everybody agree? Everybody agrees it's Asian. All right, Anna, is Mark Asian, black, or white? I don't know. He looks kind of white, but you know what? You're saying he's Asian, so I'll go with Asian. See? I mean, look, the eyes a little bit. It's <laughs> okay, no, but in, in all seriousness, the Milgram experiment is also amazing. They have a guy in a lab coat, and so the, you know, if you haven't heard of it before, I know it gets studied in Psychology 101, etc. But... Um, and he tells people to keep shocking the woman in the other room. She's not actually being shocked, but they think that they are. And, and the woman starts, it's a little bit in the beginning and then it gets worse and worse. And she, by the end, she's screaming. She's like, oh my God. Some people pretend to have heart attacks. They're like, oh, I'm having a heart attack. And the guy in the lab coat is like, press it again. Mm -hmm. And people keep pressing it and pressing it and pressing it to shock them over and over again. It's amazing how we will conform to authority and to the crowd. You know, that goes to the line experiment. And that's why this compliance movie is fascinating.